Hello! Welcome to DIY is my happy place. I'm Amy and today I have a question for all you crafters out there. What is your favorite tool? And I'm talking about tool for crafting. Now I have a favorite tool if I'm talking construction. I have a favorite tool if I'm talking refurbishing furniture. But what's your favorite tool for crafting? Good question, isn't it? I'll tell you what mine is. My favorite tool in, when, that I can't live without is my hot glue gun. I use my hot glue gun for almost everything. I definitely am a no-so kind of gal, so hot glue is the answer. And I have been crafting for so many years I don't even want to count them all. And this whole time I've never had a good hot glue stand. Today, that's going to change. I'm going to show you how to make your very own hot glue stand that you can customize to your taste. And it's just with a couple of things you pick up from the Dollar Tree. So let's have some fun. Okay, here's my hot glue gun. It's actually a hot glue, not just a hot glue stand, but a hot glue station. This is what my hot glue station looked like before. Not very great, just a pie tin. So this is what we're gonna do. If you get a few things from the Dollar Tree, I got this silver platter because I wanted everything to be able to be in one place. And then I picked up a napkin holder and then this hot pad, it's a rubber like hot pad. And I love it because it will be able to take the drips from the hot glue instead of having a big mess of hot glue dripping all over the place. It, and the glue just comes right off of it. It just falls off. It, it won't stick to the um, hot pad at all. Now I had this container, I got this from the Dollar Tree. It's kind of like a makeup stand. And I had put some gems around the outside edge of it and I used it before but I I found that I wasn't using it as much so I decided I'm going to recycle it and glue it to my tin pan because I, I really wanted my hot glue stand to have everything in one place to have all the glues that I use when I'm crafting in one place. Now these craft sticks I'm going to make it a little bit decorative because I want it to look nice on my table because I plan to just keep it kind of out all the time. So I really wanted it to not just be something that would work well for a creative glue gun stand, but I also wanted it to look pretty. So I have to say I use these glue sticks or these craft sticks for a lot of things. And this is in the crafter square section of Dollar Tree. And I always keep some on hand because they're perfect and you can use them for just about anything. So I just line up five craft sticks in a row and then cut a couple of them for the back side to make a little bit of a wall. And that's gonna be perfect and just use my craft stick to get any extra glue that I have. And see how that'll just stand up on the one side of the wall and then I'll make one for the other side. And I just love being able to organize all my glues into one place. I'm just thrilled about actually having a glue stand. I can't believe I've gone all these years without making one. I knew that it would be pretty easy and I just always felt like it was on the back of my mind like, oh yeah, I'm going to make a glue stand. The way that I have it in the, um, so here I'm showing you the glue sticks, what they look like in the package, the craft sticks. but. When it's sitting on a pie tin, that works, except that sometimes it just kind of tips over, it falls to the ground, it doesn't stay steady, and it's a little bit hard to pick up. Now, I also wanted this to be a custom glue stand, so it fit exactly with my glue gun. So, that's why I put, I'm putting everything together before I figure out where I want my glue gun to sit, so that it will be dripping the glue 
it at exactly the right place. I also want to be able to just grab the handle without a lot of effort because a lot of times when I am making things, I have my hand full on one side and I need to be able to grab the glue gun with the other hand. So I just really wanted this to be convenient. So I'm gonna put a little bit of this craft stick glue onto the napkin holder at exactly the spot that I want my glue gun to be. Now it kind of pops down a little bit, which is perfect, so that the handle comes up and it's very easy for me to grab. So there you go. Now I'm gonna glue it with hot glue first just to hold it into place. And I do this with a lot of crafts. Glue with hot glue to get it into place and then reinforce it with a super glue. And then it'll have a nice strong hold. So I'm gonna set that aside while the super glue dries and I'll go ahead and work on the walls of my glue stand. Now I've got two walls and I just decided it would look really nice if I had a little bit of paint. So I went to my crafter's corner and I got some acrylic paint and some paint brushes. And actually, hmm, I think I'll just use one of these other paint brushes that I have because I just want to fast, quick, put a bunch of paint across the entire area of my craft sticks. So I'm just going to mix a little bit of white and black. I actually, start. I'm starting with white, but then I realized I, I kind of want this to be a little bit gray, but I don't want it to be... 100% gray. I want it to kind of have streaks of black and streaks of white. So, and it's a lot faster this way. So I just keep on mixing till I get the exact color that I want. Add a little paper underneath so I don't get any on my table and then just start going. Now, as I was painting, I noticed that it was going on pretty thick and I wanted it to be a little bit more like a whitewash rather than just a thick coat of paint. Um, so I had to, it was using up the paint a lot faster than I really wanted. So I went ahead and added a little bit of water in there to make it more of a wash and to really make it stretch out so that I can use my glue for a lot of different projects. So now there's a little bit of water. I kind of did that off camera, but um, so that is how I'm doing it. Now I did decide to go ahead and paint both sides of the stick and I didn't wait sticks and I didn't wait till one was dry because I knew I could overcoat it easily so I just go ahead and once I get one coat on and the beauty of this acrylic paint and especially when it's whitewashed like that it's really really thin um, it dries really fast I mean this whole project I did in a half an hour so from start to finish under a half an hour so it is perfect now whether the paint was completely dry before I started putting it together that didn't bother me if it was just a little bit tacky so now I'm gonna put a little uh, stick underneath it so it's lifts and it's not uh, you know trying to dry itself right onto the paper and then it's getting a little more whitewash now it's getting down to the look that I was really going for and put a little clothes pin to lean it up against while it dries and then give it one last little fresh brush stroke across the front and I'm just really excited about this hot glue stand and there's no plans needed I mean you really can just put the stick in at, according to the size of your glue gun see how easy this is it's just it's amazing I love it now you want to trim your hot pad holder down to so that it doesn't curl up around the edge because you want it to just lay flat in the bottom of the tray so that it doesn't try to tip things over and that's all there is to it you can try to glue that in with hot glue or super glue even e6000 doesn't matter it will not glue that's the beauty of this so and there's no point in gluing it in you're just going to set your stand right down on top of it okay now it's coming together I love it. Now, I do like, I decided I wanted it to be kind of a pretty decoration. And I, again, I didn't want to spend a lot of time. So I grabbed these stickers in the crafter's corner at the Dollar Tree. And I thought, you know, I can add some embellishments to my glue stand. So it looks nice, but it doesn't take a lot of extra time and effort. So I just grabbed some of these with little hearts. There's a lot of different styles and whatever and, and you can glue those on they have double stick tape on them 
but I'm actually going to reinforce it with a hot glue gun with the gl hot glue itself just so that it really is on there strong but I will say most likely I'll be changing this out every so often just because every time my whim changes I might want to change the outside of the decoration look so there you go isn't that quick and easy so fun and then I'll set these aside and use them for some other project and even the other side of my um hot glue station could use a little decoration because the hot glue storage area I want to have look like an organized craft glue area so that's why I'm going ahead and giving it a little bit of fun okay now we're gonna glue our craft sticks down to our napkin holder and so once you find out the place that you want them to be, just go ahead and lay them flat and then glue like crazy. Now I was really generous with the glue because I don't want these popping off. So I just let the hot glue kind of melt around all the different edges of the metal of the napkin stand so that it will be really solid. And if you were, if you're going to be putting it away and taking it out and putting it away, maybe even wrapping your cord around it when you put it away, then you might even want to reinforce with some super glue once you get the hot glue really down. But I know I'm going to keep mine. I've got a craft station in my room and I'm going to go ahead and just keep that out as a decoration on my table. So it won't get as much wear and tear, but who knows, I may go ahead and eventually add some hot glue to it too when I can let it just have time to, or some super glue, when I can let it have time to dry. Because super glue takes, to really dry well, it needs to have a good six hours of drying time. Okay, it's coming together. This is just almost Pinterest worthy now. I just love it. You can pin in the craft room section of Pinterest and you'll be so happy with your glue gun caddy. That's what it's turning into. It's like a glue gun caddy. I love that so much. And I it's really about $5. I it's hard to say exactly how much because you know, you I bought about 6 things for this, but I will use part of it for other things. So that's why I put it right in the in the about the $5 category for the cost to make a glue stand all right it's definitely an easy craft to do and that's what I I think that's my motto with DIY is my happy place like I love do-it-yourself projects and I especially love them when I they can be so easy so fast and yet really bring me joy with the colors and making them look good now there are different types of things that I do with different glue guns. So I wanted to be able to have both long and the extra strong glue guns. And then because I have extra room, I'm going to just add all the other glues that I use often. And even the glue, hot glue fingertips that help to keep your, from burning your fingers, I can just put everything in there. Even, even glue sticks. I mean, everything is in one little place and now it's getting close to done. Isn't that awesome? So fast, so easy. And what do you think I'm going to do with my old pie tin? Well, I don't really have a need for my old pie tin anymore. So I'm so happy to finally get rid of that thing. <laughs> and now I have a hot glue stand that I am happy with. And I can finally have everything in one place. And I can see at a in a split second what I am in need of and what I'm running low on and it can be a beautiful table decoration in my craft room. Have a wonderful heart flower filled day. See you soon. Okay folks, are y'all ready to make your own hot glue stand? Please comment below and give me a thumbs up and subscribe and let me know what's your favorite tool and if you plan on making your own hot glue stand and i will see you again soon